Well, hi there, this is John Tang, and finally, we're getting to the floor installation in the house. We went with 357, that's three inches, five inches, seven inches, staggered, engineered, oak, white oak, number one common. And this was actually custom manufactured for us for this particular job at the, man at the manufacturing plant, the mill. This is extremely long length. I think this is probably about, you know, I haven't even measured this, 10 or 11 feet long. And uh, the former contractor who we had thought about working with had given us length a maximum of six feet in length. I think they were probably even less than that. But this is 10 or 11 feet, this is fantastic. And what we have right here is uh, a little bit of a nook. You can see the, the curve that's gonna be pulled out here. It's kind of a square portion surrounded by, by stone. And uh, that's gonna be the wood will run from left to right as I'm shooting this burrito. And then continue on over here onto this particular room. And I'll run right along that here. We had to pull the baseboard off. I didn't want to use the quarter round that you usually put on the edge of baseboard. I want to do it right, so we pulled the board off, and you can see we're the second owners of the house. So the baseboard was put in, and then they faux finished the walls. So the artist came and faux finished it. So that board will go in, but it'll actually be about a half an inch higher because once the wood goes in, that's going to be lifted somewhat and we go just a little bit higher than the existing post finish. The only problem is, is that the board, the, the carpet was installed before the post finishes came in to paint the baseboard. So you can see this is what's called MDF. It's a, uh, it's actually, it's not real, but it's real wood, but it's, it's actually uh, press wood. I guess it's called press board. So when they came in, they actually did not paint this lower section here, and that's because the carpet was already in place. So I'm gonna to have to have that retouched up. And there's other spots up here anyways that need to be touched up, but the magic of faux finish made that look like wood. And now uh, I'm gonna to try to repeat that again here. So what's been happening over here is grinding down the floor, pulled up all the carpet, pulled up all the tack strip, the padding, grind it down, get a nice clean surface, and then they'll also pour a leveler over the top. And I can show that to you in the other side. Uh, maybe in another video here to keep this kind of short. But they'll pour a level on it to kind of flatten out. There are spots you can't see it in the video here. There are highs and lows. And then also fill in all the cracks. Grind that down one more time. And then go with the glue. And then lay down the board. So it'll run, the whole thing will run from right to left. All the way across the room and it should end up being a really great look in the end.